Hello, I'm Jen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In the next few minutes, I would love to tell you more about our Zero Trust Cloud Native Application Protection, or CNAPP, and why it is very important given the current state of cyber threats. In this summary, I will go over these eight topics that are very pertinent to your getting a strong appreciation of Zero Trust CNAPP. It is obvious the cloud has given us immense benefits, like enormous business value, where you can develop and deploy applications in a continuous fashion at the speed of business, and almost infinite scalability, up or down, as well as incredible cost advantage. However, if you're not careful, you can increase your attack service. You will get the fullest benefit of cloud computing if you leverage microservices architectures like Docker containers and Kubernetes. However, you need to keep in mind that unlike traditional virtual machines, which are active for months, these microservices are extremely short-lived with a lifespan of minutes. Securing these ephemeral, transient, and high volume containers is a non-trivial challenge. Traditional solutions like IP tables do not really work. The power of open source software is incredible. We are benefiting from the passion, creativity, and innovation of over 14 million open source developers there are over 2 trillion open source package downloads a year. That is the great news. But what is wrong with this picture? As we saw with a great proprietary software package like SolarWinds and a great open source package like Log4j, both of them got attacked with highly targeted means by sophisticated attackers. A day does not go by when we don't see something like this in our headline news. We studied some of the notable Kubernetes attacks in 2021. The fact that the volume and velocity of attacks are increasing is obvious. Workloads are moving to the cloud, so it is only natural that attackers target cloud assets. What was not obvious is the severity of attacks. Each one of these are extremely sophisticated attacks, ones that involve credential theft, privilege escalation, identity breaches, and more. These are advanced attacks that cannot be detected, let alone prevented, using simple web application firewalls or other perimeter defenses. Given that the migration to the cloud is still at a nascent stage, say about 5 to 10 percent, there is significant runway room ahead, and unless we take proactive measures, we are likely to see more of this. Zero trust security is not a new concept. MIT professor Jerry Saltzer introduced the concept of least privilege 45 years back. Since then, it's gone through multiple refinements, resulting in John Kinderfog coining the term zero trust in 2010. It came into vogue after the solar winds attack and has become the need of the hour since the massive log 4J attack. Given the massive scale and vicious nature of the solar winds, log 4J, and more recently Okta attacks, the US Department of Defense has strongly advised organizations to implement zero trust. Furthermore, the NSA, or National Security Agency, has developed very comprehensive documents outlining steps that organizations should take in their effort to get to zero trust. Remember the cyber attacks that we mentioned earlier? In all these instances, companies had invested in basic static security measures, such as web application firewall. Despite this, companies found themselves victims of cyber attacks. This has made it increasingly clear that simple static security is just not enough. Just like 10 years ago, when cyber attackers could easily bypass basic antivirus defenses and organizations had to move towards more sophisticated EDR, similarly, modern attacks call for runtime security, one that can protect you against zero-day attacks. Today, there exists a huge chasm between development and security. DevSecOps aims to bridge this gap by providing security to developers early in the development cycle and making security a part of their regular CI-CD process. Furthermore, the plethora and hodgepodge of security tools makes it very difficult for developers to embed security in their development process. CNAPP makes it easy for developers to consume security in a shift left model as a part of their DevSecOps process. CNAPP is an integrated platform, one that combines the following key components. First, vulnerability scanning, which ensures the integrity of containers before they enter the CI-CD pipeline. Next, cloud security posture management, which ensures that the basic security controls are in place. That is, ports and privileges are not over-provisioned. These two components, vulnerability scanning and CSPM, are static controls. 
That is, they protect against known vulnerabilities. Cloud Workload Platform Protection, or CWPP, addresses the issue of runtime security, that is, protecting against zero-day attacks, or threats for which no signature exists. Response, a timely and precise response to alerts, is important. Since 100% security is impossible, containing or limiting the blast radius is a key imperative, and hence a streamlined approach to response is equally important. A zero trust CNAPP addresses the entire life cycle from development to runtime. As they say, you cannot secure what you don't see. So it all starts with accurate observability or visibility. Based on the telemetry, zero trust policies are generated, which then are enforced. One of the key tenets of zero trust is continuous observation and hence CNAPP requires an anomaly detection solution to ensure continuous compliance. If you recall, in an earlier slide, we discussed the NSA's Kubernetes hardening guide. Application hardening is a key benefit derived from a zero trust CNAPP solution. Application and network micro segmentation is another key benefit of a zero trust CNAPP solution. As they say, it is hard to get to zero trust. It is even harder to stay at zero trust. Continuous compliance based on anomaly detection is an important benefit of zero trust CNAPP. McKinsey, in their excellent article, discusses security as code as the most practical way to secure cloud applications. Consistent with this is zero trust policy as code, where zero trust policies are expressed declaratively. Here are some examples of zero trust policies for process, file, and network security. A modern zero trust CNAPP solution needs to protect modern day workloads like Kubernetes, legacy workloads like virtual machine and bare metal, and futuristic workloads like IoT, Edge, 5G. Furthermore, a modern CNAPP solution needs to bridge the siloed worlds and ensure a streamlined DevSecOps workflow. This is precisely what Acunox delivers, a fully integrated zero trust solution that integrates static and runtime security for modern day workloads and legacy workloads delivered in an open source led model and one that can be deployed in a DevSecOps fashion. A picture is worth a thousand words, so let's see it in action. Acunox gives you a single pane of glass, giving you full visibility to all assets that you have and outlining the potential vulnerabilities. If you double click, we provide you telemetry to the L3, L4, and L7 layers. We can tell you what is good traffic, what is malicious, and what is potentially suspicious. Based on this, we auto-generate zero trust policies at a granular level. Of course, you can edit these if you need to. You can apply these policies in audit or observability mode or in enforcement mode. We give you full telemetry that you can export to a seam such as Splunk or Elastic. We provide you anomaly detection or continuous compliance. You can baseline your application behavior over four hours or one day or one week. Our unsupervised learning-based anomaly detection creates a model and we can tell you the deviation thereby giving you an ongoing observation capability. In summary, Acunox delivers you one of the most comprehensive zero trust CNAPP solutions, one that is cloud native, one that is open source led, and one that addresses both static and runtime security. Our open source project, CubeArmor, has been embraced by CNCF and has over 170,000 downloads. We developed this in partnership with the prestigious R&D innovator, Stanford Research Institute, who is an investor and technology partner. We have over 15 patents that cover every aspect of zero trust cloud security. We are committed to delivering you a robust and comprehensive security platform that will protect you against current and emerging threats. Thank you for your time. Reach out to us if you want us to give you a demo or if you wanna take a test drive. Have a wonderful day.